wow. I'm seeing a lot of rice balls in here. And a silver key. Sheesh. As soon as this thing is over, I'm heading to the nearest buffet and pegging out. Oh, whoops. Diamond key. And it looks like now we're running on what looks like noodle noodle bowl conveyor belt. Okay, looks like I have several paths to go from here. Let's try this end. Hmm. First we pick up some Rio. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, golden doubling. They're gonna need that. But where to go from here? Let's see. Hmm. Let's try the other end. Ooh. Sting crab bot. And two of these. Oh, there's a surprise pack up there. Let's see if I can get to it. Of course, we have to break these pots out of the way. This is gonna take a bit of precision and careful focus. Okay, so I didn't get all of them. So far, so good. And I missed. Okay, let's try it again. So far, so good. Now I just need to carefully go from here. And got it! Alright. Now let's head through. Oh wait, we've been here already. So may as well just ignore the enemies and head through the other door. Nerd section. And with the silver key we used earlier. Wow. Hmm. Looks like I'll need ABC Morrow's photographic expertise here. Whoops. There we go. A path across the uh, hot grill. And we get the diamond key, which is what we'll need for the door. Okay. Now we're just gonna get across. Oops, missed it. Oh. And of course now we got these crab things to deal with. And I think there's another Yep, there was another one. Let's see. Was there Oh yeah, there was another one. A third. Nope. Ah, there's the way back up. Now I just gotta get to that door. Looks like I'll need to hop on. Oh yeah, there's still those flame foxes to deal with. Hmm. No, it doesn't look like crawling will help. Just gotta be careful and make my move carefully.
finally here. Now let's unlock that door. And head up to the next floor. I have a feeling we're getting close. Just needed to uh, adjust a few things. Okay, now. Oh, great. Now, of course, we're curiously placed over a hot grill. This one looks like corn, and ouch! Hot dogs. And at least that's the top half of a giant pepper. Yeesh. I always had a hankering for, for grill meat. Quizadelli, which is, which is the platform over there. <sighs> well, wasn't wasn't the cleanest way, but we finally arrived. You have finally made it as far as here to see me, the mighty Poror. Do you ever give up? I uh, since you are a die-hard fan of mine. I've come here, not to see you, but to find the miracle item. You're saying, not for me, but the miracle... Is that so? Tis, tis, it's too bad. Last time I was in the Kansai region on a vacation. I dropped it somewhere in, Za in Zazen Town. <gasps> you gotta be kidding! Well, if he's not kidding, he must return to Zazen Town at once. It's not going to be that easy. Lily, you're all getting in the way too often. Therefore, I'm taking one of one way trips somewhere far, far away. <laughs> yes, you're invited to hell, Fernandez. Haha. <laughs> Dancing? What are you doing here? I just thought, since I've only been in a few scenes... Uh, by the way, the word scenes... Has nothing to do with my name, because my name is not Dan Scene. You're taking valuable time away from my scene to tell us that awful joke! You've got much to learn. To be a star, you gotta stand out like a sore thumb. That's not fair! Uh, uh, Mr. Danson? Miss Lily? What should I do? Ouch! Oh uh, well, why don't you use the device to get rid of those guys? Ouch, I say! Ah, uh, yes sir. Anyway, goodbye, Fernandez. Hey, that's my line! What was that all about? Well, as the man says, goodbye. Switch to the... On position. Bye. Ah, uh, wait! What's going on? T minus 30 seconds. It looks like the time bomb has been activated. Are you saying we're going to be food for the fish in a matter of seconds? It's nothing to be joking about. It's times like this when it's important to stay calm. Oh yeah. Looks like we're headed for another, another battle. Get ready. Time yet again. 
And this time, we're heading out to sea. So this time, we're gonna have to go through a few uh, coastal bases. Oof! So yeah, that's what happens when you trip. Mash flowing ships and incoming rocks. As well as getting rid of any uh, robots that stand in the way. Well, there aren't any pitfalls this time. You still gotta worry about the long bri rock bridges that uh, jut out. No, oh, like that. Just gotta keep smashing through. Also, those occasionally those flying ships come by. But they're easy to smash after a few whacks with your giant pipe. And with and I think we're just about getting close to the end. Here we go. Now for our first sea battle against the Charming Mermaid, Tai Samba 2. <clears throat> so yeah, we're kind of at a uh, disadvantage since uh, Tai Samba here is pretty much at home in the sea. But that doesn't mean she's not impossible. Now be sure to hit those uh, those balls she spits out. And boom! <laughs> That's our first combo of the fight. Now be sure to keep a close eye on the radar. Because she'll be swimming and jumping up and down. And she'll occasionally go to the side and fire fire torpedoes at you. But can be stopped with this with a simple bullet. Man, <laughs> this is easier than I thought it would be. There we go. Okay, I think we're getting close. All right, coming close. Just gather up some more Rio. Ouch. Gotta be careful. Gee, she sure does a lot of the jumping. We gotta attack sometime. There. Haha! Oh. <laughs> Trying to do a pass by, huh? Not this time. There we go. And boom. Oh, no extra boom this time. <laughs> hmm? Oh, looks like we're gonna take the fight to the sea floor. Be careful though, because once you hit. Hit the ground. <laughs> That's when she'll come charging at you. But this is not the only trick she has. She can summon that summon a whirlpool or sea typhoon and start tossing balls at you. So, one, and as soon as you see the camera close in, that's when you, that's where she'll strike. And that's her chance to counter. And you can also do the simple, simple side dash and bash you. Haha! <laughs> 
That should finish her. That's that then. Guess, guess our next stop is Zazen Town. If what Poron said is true, then, then the final miracle item has to be there. I wonder if Benkei has it. He usually has a lot of rare items he has in his personal collection. Well, I guess we'll find out once we land. So back to the bridge. Not that one. And here it is. What is it today? Excuse me, Mr. Benkei, I'd like to ask you something. Would you ha not have something called a miracle item? Huh? A miracle? No, I'm sorry, I don't have any such thing. But maybe he would have it. Uh-huh, and who could that be? Well, there is the Collector with a collection even greater than mine. I believe his name was Kihachi. Where can we find this Mr. Kihachi? He lives on the center pond of Zazen Town. All right then. I I know the place. So the center pond, huh? Let's find out. Well, looks fine to me. Wait a minute. Looks like something's coming up. It's a kappa. What'd you say? What do you want with me, the mighty water in Kihachi? Yeah, I'm sorry to bother you, but do you remember picking up an unusual item around here? Hmm... Maybe you're referring to this odd item I picked up the other day. Is that a fact? That's true, can you give it to us? Get real, you don't just ask to get something for nothing. Try to copy the word world in that piece of rock. And tell me out loud what you have. Hey, that's pretty tough. It's no easier to carve world on here. It's a tough world. In any case, I can't just go around giving away parts of my valuable collection. Please reconsider. We really need that item. Hmm. It's so hard to say no to someone so cute as you. Alright. I'll give it to you if you bring me my favorite food. Your favorite food? Yes, my favorite food. Farewell. Uh, that would be nice, if we knew what it was. Cucumber. Oh yeah, I think I heard that... That they like that stuff. Cucumber that the priest's son makes. Hmm. Oh, I guess that's it. Well... I think... I think I may have remembered that cute that water kappa likes those sort of things. I wonder if the priest I wonder if the priest knows where it is. May as well have a chat. So you've come to listen to my sermon? What, you want to see my son? My son's gone to watch the big sacred fire. You'll find him at Mount Yoigatake, 
next to here. It won't be quite that simple. To get to the big fire in Mount Noigatake, only those with extensive training who could jump unimaginable heights will be able to proceed. I admire your spirit. Let's begin with the training then. In Bizen, in the Chugoku region, there is a locked warehouse. Inside the warehouse is a training gym, and here is the key to that gym. Don't give up. The key to training. <laughs> How appropriate. Well, if we wanna if we wanna see his son, we're gonna have to work on our jumping skills. So, and considering that we saw a locked door on our way there. I can already guess who it would be for. Okay, so we're back in Bizen. So, let's unlock the door and be on our way. Good of you to come, where you will train to develop your legs and ankles and become a super jumper. Have you come to take on this training? I will now explain the training. You will jump from foothold to foothold around the pillar within a specified time limit. You have completed your training when you reach the goal at the very top. Jump over the footholds that will move. Try your best to finish within the time limit. Ready, set, start! Yeah, so essentially Sasuke, his training is essentially akin to a platforming challenge. And uh, as I explained, it's pretty simple. Just get to the top within the time limit using the footholds. And yes, as you can see, some of them are moving. Some in and out, some across, and some that will block you. And yes, sometimes I, sometimes you'll slip up, just like I did. Hey, no one's perfect. <clears throat> Got it. Yeah, admittedly, this isn't my best performance. Okay. Thankfully, I should be able to get up before the time runs out. Okay, so far so good. Ah, there's the next one. Just keep going. Whew. Wow, that was a close one. Alright, let's see. Okay, now I just gotta wait for the next platform to show. Ah, there's the next one. And... Made it! Bravo! Now you can call yourself a super jumper. Sasuke would taste the flying magic powers. Using the super jump, it could go to high places that were previously unreachable. Let's try it out. First things first, let's get rid of these guys so there are no distractions. Wait a sec. Oh, it's essentially a jetpack. So yeah, <laughs> considering Sasuke is a mechanical, mechanical ninja, maybe you should call instead of magic, it'd be more like an upgrade. <laughs> but I digress. Now that we got our new, uh, now that Sasuke's got his legs trained, we can finally go see the priest's son and get that cucumber as soon as we head back to town. Oh, remember this foothold from earlier, the one we couldn't get to? Well, thanks to Sasuke's new upgrade, we can finally reach this hidden silver fortune doll. 
and some sp and some spare Rio. And with that, time to move on. There we go. Just straight past the central pond and and through the second part of town, it will be at Mount Yoigatake. There it is. Hmm. So that's the sacred fire. There we go. That must be the priest's son. Come all the way here. So what do you want? Ah, about the cucumber? Did you want some of the cucumber I grew? A sell to you for 800 Rio. You made a wise purchase. Here you go. So yeah, this was why I was uh being stingy with the Rio. <laughs> I mean seriously, that's a very expensive cucumber. But anyway, this had to make Kihachi happy. So let's head back to the central pond and hand it over. Oh, I guess he can uh, fly when uh, he's nearly on the edge. <laughs> yes, that's it! Trade their quality cucumber with Kihachi's miracle item. Now we got the miracle snow, shaped like a snowflake. Farewell! I'd say, I'd say that was an excellent trade. Kihachi got his favorite food, we got the miracle item, everybody's happy. Speaking of... Now's a good time to save our progress. And I'll show you the second one of the inn rooms. There we go. Oh, there was one other place that the flying, the flying upgrade may come in handy. Remember that uh, silver fortune doll in the festival temple castle we couldn't get to before? Well, looks like Sasuke is about to give his new flying ability a run for its money. So now we're, we're going to head there and get that doll. Here we are. Okay, we're skipping over to where we need to go. Okay, grab the golden dumpling. There's the Rio. And... Let's see. Yes! Got it! And that's another heart. And with that, we should be close. <laughs> I believe that's almost all the fortune dolls. And we're almost out of time on this vid. Until next time. Ikuyo! <laughs>